Welcome back to another speed build video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. Nice to see you again. And I hope you've all had a great weekend and are ready for the week ahead. Oh, and uh, first of all, I just want to apologize if I sound a bit extra silly today because I just had my wisdom teeth taken out a few days ago and it still kind of hurts to talk sometimes. And uh, I just, yeah, I would warn you that maybe I can't pronounce things the way I usually do because uh, I don't know, exclaiming and things like that. You know, really just moving my mouth too much can hurt a little, so uh, yeah, if it sounds silly, that's why, and you can blame my dentist. And another thing I'd really like to note before we get too far into this is that this build is going to be in multiple parts. And that's because uh, today we're building this huge apartment complex, um, so this is going to be a residential rental type. Which means, of course, that if you have the for rent pack, then you can move multiple different families in and, you know, play with them as custom apartments. What it also means is that this is like a million builds in one, so therefore I decided to do it one floor at a time. So today, obviously, I'm creating the whole shell of the build, uh, like the whole face of these beautiful apartments and um, everything there, and then I'm going to build, like, the ground floor. And in the ground floor, there's going to be that cute cafe bistro thing you saw a preview of. There's going to be a huge lobby, even with like a little bathroom for guests and whatever. And then also I put in an apartment in the ground floor that is supposed to be kind of like the superintendent's house or apartment, sorry. Um, that's where the person who owns the residential rentals can live. Obviously, you can put anyone in there that you want, but in my save, it's going to be, you know, um, like the person who owns the building who lives there and um, she is kind of a maker type in my build and it's, it's a really fun apartment so that's kind of the ground floor and I actually haven't decided completely on what the next few uh, apartments will be so if you have any ideas or anything you'd like to see me bring into this big apartment building then let me know down in the comments and it will be so fun to include some of the more popular suggestions um, you know if there's anyone in particular you'd like to see me build an apartment for Obviously, since I am building this in multiple videos, there will probably be some changes, so I don't know if you want me to upload this shell of the house, or if I should wait until everything is fully fleshed out. Because obviously there's still room to experiment, and I might still change some things downstairs, you know, I think the lobby is looking a little bit empty, so it'll be fun, you know. If there's anything to put in there that I just suddenly think of in the next few videos, I will do it. Like, I am not, I don't want this to be super strict. This is kind of like more of a fun, let's do this whole process together. And then, obviously, on, in each video, I am going to focus on a different floor. There are three more floors, um, where one of them is the attic, or kind of like the floor underneath the roof, which I am so excited for. I think that's going to be really cool. Um, and there is room for multiple apartments on each floor. I don't know if it should be more penthousey. What do you think? Uh, yeah, tell me down in the comments. Do you prefer, you know, one apartment per floor or two? Or maybe, you know, it can vary. Maybe one of them will be a penthouse. I don't know. There are a lot of possibilities when it comes to something like this. And obviously you can do different things in your save, but I also just find it so fun to build these like big custom apartments and that's definitely one of the favorite things they've done with the whole for rent thing. I was so excited for that pack. I loved making like townhouses and things like that before and now you know we can finally actually split it up in custom apartment buildings so it's so much fun. Anyway with this one I kind of made it into a tiny little street so obviously there are two houses that are put together or two buildings close by each other. And then I made this custom street kind of thing, and I really love how that whole thing turned out. It felt so, I don't know, so lively and bubbly in the end. But really this whole apartment building was very inspired by um, Parisian apartments, actually. So I've been looking at Pinterest photos of, you know, all these beautiful um, apartment buildings. Not even just apartments, but just these huge buildings in Paris, and I think it's 
very much like um I don't know, it's definitely stereotypical. I don't think most uh, Parisians live in buildings like this at all. It's not like that. Um, but it is this very stereotypical Parisian image of these uh, beautiful, gorgeous buildings with all that amazing stonework and detail. And um, I actually had to Google this. This is called a balconette in English. Apparently, like all these tiny balconies, balconettes in Danish, the literal translation is um, French balcony. That's what we call those little uh, tiny balconettes that you put outside a window. So things like that, you know, just a bunch of all these architectural details. That is kind of what inspired this build. I really just wanted it to be, you know, uh, like everywhere you look, it's just more, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and then obviously I wanted it to feel really lively and bubbly and I don't know, um, have you ever been, okay, this is really going to show my privilege, but have you ever been on a vacation in a big city and then whenever you walk around downtown in these old cities, probably very European cities, I am from Europe, um, and then you've been downtown and there are all these like bubbling cafes and, you know, there's just the sound of the city and everyone's just still outside on the patios. I kind of wanted to bring that vibe, so that's why I have those open patio doors into the um, little bistro thing I made. Um, and I just wanted to feel kind of like a community, a place where everyone can sort of live. So obviously that cafe bistro thing is not going to be functional in the game, depending on how you kind of um, set it up in your own build or your own game. Um, so there are a couple of options you can either you know, choose to go that route where you have, you know, the bistro working, but then all the different apartments won't be, you know, working. They won't be working residential lots. Um, and I think it's such a shame that we can't mix and match that yet, hopefully. I really hope that they will implement that, you know, um, cross building residential lot type thing at some point. Um, so we could have both apartments and bistros and whatever on the same lot that would be so cool you know if you could build a townhouse and then maybe a museum next door in the same lot you know just that extra customization but obviously I'm just really happy that we have the possibility to just have you know residential rentals at all but that means that we have to pick and choose so for my game I am choosing to do it as a residential rental that means that this whole um, bistro thing will be more of a community area, um, a shared space in my game. Um, so it won't be a functional bistro in the sense that you can have, you know, a waiter come and take an order or there will be a bartender or something like that. It won't be that kind of lot. But obviously the sims will still gather there and go about their business and mix drinks and everything like that. So it still feels, you know, um, at least it feels functional to me, but it is, you know, a different kind of functional I guess. Also just another thing now I rambled over the part but I really wanted to note something because it was a trick I saw on TikTok actually um, and I just thought I wanted to share it. So if you saw those um, little custom um, bike rows, oh no not bike rows, bike stand? Bike, a bike rack. Okay yeah those bike racks that I made. Um, so I made a basement and then honestly I just took the um, regular um oh my god i am really bad at english every single word i'm looking for is escaping me but i got it a uh, ladder you know the ladders to the pool pool ladder um then you can raise them up so you can only see the top of them and then you can kind of like you know put them next to each other if you put them through the basement and then you can place the bikes there and i thought it was really cute um, so I just, you know, I wanted to note that because it's such an easy hack. All you need to do is have um, bb.move objects on, but you don't need anything, you know, cool. Or I think even those pool ladders, they're just base games. So if you can just, you know, put down a basement under where you want them and then raise them up. Um, I, I don't know. I thought it was really, uh, really fun, really, uh, really cool. Oh, and also, I guess I also just wanted a reason to talk about bikes because I just bought a new bike and I spent a lot of money and it's supposed to come tomorrow. I did buy it online. I did not go down to a store because I do not have enough money to just go down to a store and pick out the best bike. Um, so we have this big chain thing that is uh, doing, I don't know, some huge sale. I don't know. It was like a lot of money off, a lot of money off. Um, so I'm getting myself an electric bike 
and I'm really excited about it because I want to be able to bike to work now that I am starting at the vet clinic soon, which I am still super excited about and it's around four kilometers away from where I live, which is not too far to bike, even on a regular bike, but I just hate showing up all sweaty and gross for work. I don't know if you have ever been the type of person to bike anywhere. I've always, you know, biked to school when I was younger and stuff like that. And I just hate it because you always, you know, you get so warm and hot outside from, you know, the little workout that biking is when you get over a certain amount of kilometers and then you just start getting all sweaty and gross and then you have to go inside and then it's even worse because it's warm inside too and it just takes forever to cool down and then you feel smelly and awful the whole day and I don't want to do that anymore but I do want to bike rather than take the bus and so um, electric bikes have become really really popular where I live in Denmark um, and I actually have a pretty funny story about one time uh, when I just started uh, my degree uh, a few years ago in multimedia design. There was a girl who lived in the same uh, little town suburb thing as I do. Um, and we decided to bike together one day. And I was like, yeah, you know, uh, obviously I want to go with this new friend from my class and let's bike together. This will be amazing awesome cool i have all this energy that obviously i could not keep up with for the rest of my time at that school at all um but i was you know everything was new and everything was fun and it was summer and everything was exciting so i was like okay yeah let's do this and there was around six kilometers and again it's fine it's not that far um and we were biking but she was on this electric bike and so she was just you know talking the whole way and she was setting the kind of the tempo and the speed and she was faster than me because obviously she does not have to worry about speed on an electric bike. Um, you know, she does not have to put in the work herself. Um, so I was just like, yeah, 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 really trying to like keep up with her and then also speak at the same time and everything like that. And then when we got there, I was so it was uphill a lot. And I was just I was so hot when I got there. Um, it was terrible. Um, and then, you know, she got off her bike and then she was like, oh my god, are you sweating? <laughs> she was like, oh, you're hot? Really? What? You know, because you're so, probably just you forget so easily what it's like when you're not, you know, assisted by that electric thing. Um, but I want to be her now. You know, I do not want to. <laughs> I think it's super funny because obviously it was just, you know, she didn't, she didn't think of it. Um, <laughs> but I was feeling really bad that day. I was like, this is hot. I am never doing this again. I, I hated it. Um, but you know, I did it that day. And then, um, I want to be her now. I want to be the one who just gets off her bike, um, after, you know, getting wherever she needs to go and just goes like, oh, that's easy. You know, no problem. No sweat. Didn't break a sweat. Um, but still, you know, got that nice bike trip out of it and, you know, have increased uh, independence compared to buses and stuff like that so yeah I got myself an electric bike and I am very very excited and so sorry for speaking so much about bikes but I hope you thought that little story was funny and I don't know if you know that feeling of when you're with someone and you're like struggling and they just you know breeze through it it's like you always just stand there all like flabbergasted in the end like what <laughs> Anyway, right now I'm working on that little bathroom in the lobby and I'm using a lot of stuff from Growing Together and I think that's one of my favorite packs for bathroom stuff. Oh my god, it is so good. And then just, you know, a bunch of plants, but I really just wanted it to be very light and modern and just, I wanted it to feel very luxurious down there. That's also why, you know, the whole lobby was so huge and practically empty. Um, you know, just a couple of chairs here and there and you know, those huge, huge um, panels for the curtains and just paneling in general everywhere. Just, you know, feeling like this very, like, old building that has been maintained very well and is now just luxury. But now I am working on that apartment that I said was for kind of the super, at least in, you know, in my game. It's for the person owning the building and who's maintaining it and living there at the same time. And I wanted this to be... Uh, very different from what I was doing, um, you know, with the other rooms. So this is way more um, industrial looking and I really uh, loved the way this apartment turned out. 
You know, the kitchen with the orange tones and those base game cabinets, they're amazing and I love that. But also, I am working um, now on this huge gallery wall. And this gallery wall is kind of centered around that frame TV, which is so cool. I've seen a lot of people do them, you know, um, themselves in real life, where it's like they put a frame around their TV and then set it to a channel where it's just displaying a picture or something like that so it'll look like art instead of a TV. I don't necessarily want something like that in my own life in real life because I feel like it's a little weird to have the TV turned on all the time to look like a painting instead of just admitting that I too am a peasant who watches TV. I don't know, it's obviously it's really cool if you're into that, um, if you're into that aesthetic and things like that. Uh, I don't think it's for me though, but it is for this person who lives here. So that whole gallery wall and um, those couches kind of set the tone for the apartment. This is where I really like figured out what I really wanted from it. And I really love those couches from the Booknook kit. I also thought it was a lot of fun to make this little laundry place. I don't typically put laundry into the um, into my builds because then you have to play with laundry. I wish I could just put it, you know, decoratively without actually having to make my sims do their laundry. Um, I guess it's because I also hate doing laundry in real life. I think it has become one of the worst chores, but also because our um, dryer is broken. So that means um, we have to go out every two minutes to press start. And we're, I don't know why, I shouldn't say we're too lazy to get it fixed, because obviously this is a lot more work, um, but we just aren't, we just aren't doing it. So um, now if we have to use the dryer, we have to basically like get up every two minutes and go press start again, and then it'll go for like a minute and then it'll stop and then we'll have to press start. And um, I don't think I've ever had such arguments with a dryer before as I have now, but um, yeah, that's a thing in my life. <laughs> but I guess they work in The Sims. Um, but yeah, I put some laundry into this um, into this apartment, and I thought it was I thought it was cute. I don't know. So I feel like I usually don't do bathrooms like this one. Um, this is very. Um, I, I think it's just because it's this industrial thing that I've been going for. So that whole like black and white thing um, that feels a little bit foreign to me. Um, but I did think that it turned out really cool. This bathroom also very luxurious in its own way. I think, you know, whenever you put wood and gold into a bathroom um, and then, you know, have that stark white and black, you can easily make it look luxurious or you can make it look really tacky. Um, I do think that this looked better. I don't think this looked tacky. <laughs> I hope not. But at least in my mind, it ended up looking really clean and cool. Um, so if you don't think it's clean and cool, Please keep your comments to yourself, I do not want to hear it. Anyway, after I put these few lights and extra details down, I am going to uh, find my way to kind of the maker's corner. So for this sim, I wanted her to have either a lot of hobbies or just the opportunity to do a lot of things in general. So I put down, you know, both a woodworking table and a, an easel. And these are both from the artist studio kit, but obviously we do have base game versions of um, a woodworking table and an easel, um, so you can definitely just replace them if you don't have that kit. But I did use that kit a lot in this um, one apartment, um, because it is very much like that whole like artist makers apartment. Um, you know, this is a very practical sims, they like to do things with their hands. Um, that's also why they're, you know, um, doing all this maintenance work at that building, probably. You know, maybe they're even the ones who are, you know, um, renovating it or something like that. I don't know. Um, you can make a storyline if you want to. But yeah, she is getting uh, that, like, um, woodworking table and I'm putting a bunch of sculptures that I just got from Debug. And then, you know, um, I just wanted it to feel very much like this is a creative sim who, you know, is constantly doing things. They probably don't sit still all that much. Um, so they have, you know, all these different hobby activities throughout the house. There is also in the bedroom, there is a um, one of those from Crystal Creations. I don't remember what they're called, but you know, the crystal cutting desk thing. Anyway, as you can tell, I am almost finished with this bedroom and that is the last part of this house for today. 
I am very excited to keep it going. So this is kind of the story of the first floor. And um, if you want to, I'd love to hear what you have to say about what should happen on the next few floors. It'll be a lot of fun to like do this whole thing together. And uh, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you liked it and are still around, you know, please don't forget to subscribe, like, all those things. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!